Welcome to Retail Ops. In this video, we'll look at the new product receiving tool in Retail Ops version 2.0. The tool has been overhauled to streamline the product receiving process. We'll go over that process now while pointing out the changes made. Now let's hop into Retail Ops. Right now we're looking at the Retail Ops 2.0 dashboard. Let's go to the product receiving tool in the nav menu. Product receiving. Now, in the new product receiving tool, steps one and two, you're basically entering the PO number for the product and then performing a product search to see if the product is already in your database. In version 1.6, there's an extra step of linking your product to a PO line item. In version 2.0, that linking happens automatically based on your search here. Now, first, in the step one pane, let's enter the PO. I'm receiving against PO 304. I'm going to scan the UPC and I'll put in the name to filter further, MPN, and then of course the brand. From here, there are three possible scenarios based on your search results and slightly different steps for each. So, scenario one, you found an exact SKU match for the product, so let's say you have the men's Walu accent in size 9 right in front of you. Scenario 2, you didn't find an exact SKU match, but it is the right product family. So let's say you have size 6.5 of the Walu accent, but there is no SKU for a 6.5 currently. Or scenario 3, you didn't find either a SKU or a product family that matches. This is not the Walu accent at all, it's a completely different product and we'll go through each of those scenarios one by one. Let's go through the first scenario now and click on the size 9. The panes for steps 3 and 4 now only show the data for the product family and the SKU that you selected. The step 4 pane only displays the key attributes that make each SKU unique and you can actually configure that. This reduced clutter leads to faster and more accurate receiving. So look through the data, confirm that's accurate, and if it is, all you need to do is go to the step 5 pane, enter the quantity, enter the weight, and then hit the receive lot button. And then you just need to scan the initial location or container for the product. I have the container barcode right here. After that, a lot label prints, and I'll stick that right on the product. Now, let's go to scenario two. You have the same product, the men's Walu accent, in size six and a half. Let's enter the info again in step one, including the UPC for size six and a half. And as you can see, there is no SKU for size 6.5 currently. Let's go ahead and click on any SKU from the same Walu Accent family. Now go to the Step 4 pane and modify the size to fit your product. Size 6.5. This automatically creates a new SKU in the same family. You can see that here, a new SKU is being created. From here, the process is the same. Enter the quantity, enter the weight. Let's hit receive lot. When you do that, notice that that's when the SKU is actually created for the six and a half. And then let's just go ahead and scan the container again. And then again, a lot label prints, and you just need to put that right on your product. All right, last scenario, scenario three. This is actually a completely new product. This is not the Walu accent. This is actually the women's Alden slip on. So let's enter the UPC for that. Alden slip on. And you can see we have no search results for this. 
Let's go ahead and click New Product. Let's enter the family data in the Step 3 pane. And from here, let's enter the SKU data in the Step 4 pane. Enter the quantity, the weight. Let's hit Receive Lot. And again, that's when the new SKU is created. Let's scan the container. And again, the lot label prints, and you put that right on your product. That's the process for receiving products in the new product receiving tool. Please contact Retail Ops Support if you have any more questions.